Hello my friends, wherever you are on planet Earth. Today I'm making a juice that I'm calling Garden Harvest because I went to my garden and harvested whatever was ready to be picked. I have mostly cucumbers, red bell peppers and some greens. Let's look at my ingredients. Here are my ingredients for my Garden Harvest juice. Mostly cucumber, some collard greens, bell peppers, some garlic, some turmeric, two kinds of lettuce, kale, and of course carrots. So let's make some juice. As usual, I'm going to begin with adding some ice cubes to cool down the cutter because we're almost at 30 degrees centigrade today on this hot day in sunny Southern California. So I'll plug in my thermometer and I will remind you I'm using the J-grid for my greens. These are 3 sixteenths three sixteenth inch holes is best for greens. So we'll start with the ice. Talking about ice, I'm going to put some collard greens through first. Remember to always keep this covered. Cucumber. More collard greens. some of these red bell peppers. And on top of that, some turmeric. More collard greens, some ginger, more turmeric. Centigrade, so three more ice cubes. And that's going to cool down my cutter and preserve my nutrients. More collard greens. Another cucumber. Kale. Now the motor's starting to work hard, so I'm going to clean my grid. Greens are very, very fibrous, so you need to clean your grid frequently. And we'll continue with more kale. Now bell peppers, I have to cut them in half because they're too big. More bell pepper. Red and purple bell pepper. Curly leaf lettuce. already, so three more ice cubes. Another cucumber. More lettuce, more curly leaf lettuce. Put in a couple of carrots. After you feed in your first carrots, clean the grid and start using the number two grid, which is only one eighth inch or two sixteenth inch holes. Put that aside and clean that later. The one eighth inch holes does a better job on carrots. And we'll continue with carrots. Is starting to work hard, so I'm going to clean the grid again. And I see 
that my temperature is already up to 24 degrees, so three more ice cubes. Pull down that cutter. Remind you that when you're at your last carrot, what you want to do is take a plug of pulp, put it in here because there's always a little bit of produce in here that's not shred yet. So you want to force that through by putting some pulp on top. Now we'll clean the feed tube, mix the produce, and make some juice. And the next step before juicing is to mix all of your ingredients. Whenever you have carrots in your mix, you do not need to use bamboo liners because your pulp will not stick to your cloth. And what you want to do is rotate this in both directions until you get a very, very good mix. Now I'm going to demonstrate my six cloth less work method. One way is to take the spent pulp and put it back in the collection bowl where there's a puddle of juice to absorb that juice and we'll recycle that again. The other method is to put new pulp on top of the spent pulp. You do not throw this away until the very end. So we'll put two scoops of pulp. Later on the patty will be too thick so you only put one scoop. And when you're on your last cloth you advance that all the way. Save a little time that way. Now here's the six cloth less work method. This goes forward, this goes over, the spent cloth goes on top. In goes a new set of two juicing cloths full of pulp. Back it off a little bit, and we're going to continue. And because there's still a puddle of juice in the bowl, this is going to go back in the bowl, and we will continue. Okay, I'm down to the last of my cloth now. So I'm going to take the spatula. Clean out the rest of this pulp because I don't want to waste any of this really valuable organic produce. We'll set this aside and clean that later. And what I'm going to do now, while I'm keeping my eye on this bowl, is I'm going to reform this spent pulp into a tight ball and repackage it. And then I'm going to show you how the whole Health Foundation model juicer with that premium bottom plate can make 10% or more juice. So I'm going to fold it two or three times underneath in both directions. I can see my bowl's full, so I'm going to shut that off. And we'll press the rest of that later. So this is going to go into the bottles before I repackage that, and this will go back so it doesn't drip on the countertop. Do the same with all of the spent pulp. under, flatten it, that's that all the way, form this into a ball again. As you can see here I've repackaged all six cloths into a tight ball. I'm going to use a measuring beaker to see how much extra juice we get. So let's put this in the tray, centered left to right, front to back. That's very important to be in the center of the tray all the way back and as soon as we get juice flow I'm going to back that off a little bit. You do not want that to go up too fast, it will be too slippery, so we'll back it off as soon as we get juice flow. That's a little bit more, a little bit more, and then all the way. So from our first clock we got about three ounces. Next 
two cloths. Center left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And as soon as I get juice flow, I back that off a tiny bit. We do not want that to go up too fast. And that's a little bit more. And then all the way. Seven ounces from two packages. And then we'll put these last two in there. Centered left to right, front to back, all the way back. And as soon as I get juice flow, I'm going to back that off. Well, there's another 15 ounces. Well, you get the idea. I could continue pressing more, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to pour this into the collection bowl and into bottles. All right, I've got 12 bottles plus enough for a taste test, so I'm going to top this off with distilled water. And when you top it off, you want a convex curve on top so that there's no air in the bottle whatsoever. As you can see here, we've got 10, 12 bottles. And remember, one of these was the extra juice we got from processing the spent pulp and enough for a taste test. Now we'll do a taste test. Very delicious. A little on the bitter side because greens are generally very bitter, especially dandelions. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video.